said the same thing I told ya. My eyes are clear, there's no secret. I wanna know. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So it's Valentine's Day today, and I love Valentine's Day. I love the teddy bears, I love the roses, I love the colors. I love everything about Valentine's Day. I don't know why. I love love and everything. So I am super excited. And today I created a perfect Valentine's Day look. It's my second one. So if you wanna see my previous Valentine's Day look that I created a week ago, you can click up here. I think it's up here. <laughs> Uh, and if you want to see how I created this look with a halo eye, with pink glitter and with nude lips, just please keep on watching. So first of all, I'm going to prime my face and today I'm going to use the Nivea Men Aftershave Balm. And this works fine as a primer, it's really great. And what this primer does is that it will keep the makeup on during the entire day. Before I apply my foundation, I'm gonna color correct as usual to cover up some redness. And today I'm gonna try the Maybelline Master Camo Kit Corrector Tint. Uh, I have never tried this before, so it will be fun. I'm gonna go in with the green shade, which is a corrector shade. And I'm gonna apply it on my red spots in my face, because green cancels out the redness. To cover the green shades, I'm gonna use my Tarte Shape Tip Concealer, which is my favorite. You have to try it. And this is the shade Medium Light. Then I'm gonna buff it out using the Real Techniques Buffing Brush. For foundation today I'm gonna use my trusty Maybelline Matte and Poreless foundation. And why I am using this foundation so much is because it's the only foundation that has the right shade for me right now. So that's why uh, and I love it as well. So, And to blend my foundation out I'm gonna use the Diamond Shape Beauty Blender from Real Techniques. I have never used this before so it will be a lot of fun and it's so weird shape. It will be fun to see how it works. So far I think I like the Beauty Blender a lot more. It's kind of hard to blend everything out and it leaves marks when I do this. It kind of gets stripes or lines from the edge of the um, Beauty Blender or the Diamond Blender. And next time I will go for the original Beauty Blender instead of this. For concealer I'm gonna use the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in light medium. I'm going to do some cream contouring today and I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Cream Kit and this is the fair so I hope, I think I will go for the dark, darkest shade because I think it's a bit too light for me and the wrong colors uh, when I'm tanned so I'm going to go for the darkest shade which is called Mink and to do it more creamy I'm going to use the Best Damn Beauty Best Damn Beauty Oil. So I'm going to two drops, I think that's enough. I'm excited to see how it works and I'm going to use my Sigma Chisel and Trim Contour Brush. Okay, so my final thoughts about this diamond shaped beauty blender from Real Techniques is that it sucks. I thought it was really hard to blend everything nice and together and I don't know, it's so big, it was so hard to get around 
my nose and under my eyes. So to set my concealer, I'm gonna use my Laura Mercier translucent powder. And to set my face, I'm gonna use the Maybelline Fits Me uh, Maybelline Fits Me powder, maybe. <laughs> and this is the color 220 as well as the foundation. To set the concealer, I'm gonna use the Sigma Concealer Blend Kabuki brush. So I'm gonna do my eyebrows off cam and then we are moving on to my eyes. My eyebrows are done and we are moving on to my eyes. So first I'm gonna dip into my custom made Makeup Geek palette. So these, oh, so these are all Makeup Geek shadows and I'm gonna dip into the shade Cupcake first. And for that I'm gonna use my Morphe MB23 brush, which is my favorite blending brush of all times. It's so good and I love it. And then I'm gonna switch palette to the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette. And I'm gonna dip into the shade shape the shade love letter and to apply it i'm gonna use the morphe m514 brush then i'm gonna take my morphe m507 brush and dip into the makeup geek shade bitten which is a very burgundy purple reddish shade which is super pretty and I'm gonna apply it in my outer and my inner corners. To deepen it more, I'm gonna go in with the Renaissance palette and the shade Cypress Umber, which is a rich chocolate shade and I'm gonna use the same brush. I'm gonna go in with the Makeup Forever Starlit Liquid and this is the shade number 2. For my lower lash line, I'm gonna go in with Cupcake again from again. I'm gonna go in with Cupcake again from Makeup Geek and with my Morphe M506 brush. And then I'm gonna go in with a bit of Love Letter again. Then I'm gonna take my Sigma Short Shader E20 brush and I'm gonna go in with the shade Americano from the Makeup Geek. So I'm gonna go in with my Morphe 35B palette, which is this gorgeous, colorful palette. And I'm gonna go in with the hot pink shade and using my Morphe M515 brush. So I think I wanna smoke out this look even more and to make it more dramatic than the last Valentine look I did here on my channel. So I'm gonna go in with the waterproof gel liner from Anastasia Beverly Hills and this is the shade Dark Side and I'm gonna put it in my waterline. For lashes today I'm gonna use the House of Lashes Lit and Looks collection and I'm gonna use the iconic Elite, 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 I don't know how to say it. I'm gonna use the iconic lashes and the iconic lead, I think. And these lashes are a bit feathery and more wispy than the original iconic lashes from House of Lashes. My lashes are finally on and we are moving on to my face. But first I'm gonna moisturize my lips using the Best Damn Lip Mask from Best Damn Beauty. 
it's time to beat this face up and I'm gonna use my trusty shade of light palette from Kat Von D and I'm gonna use the middle shade which is called shadow play for contour and I'm gonna use the Murphy M500 brush and for bronzer, I'm gonna use the Benefit Cosmetics Hula Bronzer and I'm gonna apply it with the Morphe M462 brush. For blush, I'm gonna dip into the Morphe 9B palette. I don't know which suits my eye look the best. I think I'm gonna, ooh, I don't know. I think I'm gonna go in with the hot pink one, yeah. And oh, I am applying it with the Sueva Lux Chic Finishing Brush. That's better lighting, right? I'm gonna take my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder and I'm gonna take my Sigma Bake Precision Brush and I'm gonna bake around my nose to clean up the contour. While my powder is baking and doing its job, I'm gonna put on some highlighter and I'm gonna try the Starlit Powder from Makeup Forever in the shade 13 for highlighter. So we will see how that goes. And the brush I'm gonna use for highlight is the Morphe M510 brush. Do you see that? That's crazy. I'm gonna do some highlight on my nose and my brow bones as well with the same sh uh, powder. I am highlighted to the gods and there is glitter everywhere in my room. I'm gonna dust the excess powder away from my nose. Okay guys, so there is just one step left uh, to do on this look and it is of course my lips. And today I'm gonna use the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade Abu Dhabi. Abu Dhabi, do you say that in English? This is the perfect nude shade and I want to add a nude lip to this look uh, since it's pretty extreme already with the highlights, the halo eyes, the dramatic lashes and my smoky waterline and everything so I want to add a new lip this thing really hurts So guys, that was actually it for this video. I hope you enjoyed my second Valentine's Day look and I also hope you will have a great Valentine's Day today with your loved ones. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and please leave a comment down below on what you would like to see in my next video. I will see you next time. Bye!